percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours Crypto. Let's get right to today's video. We got a sea of red. Would you look at that? For the past 48 hours, the markets have been heavily dumping. And is this the potential bottom? And in today's video, I want to tell you exactly where we are headed in the near future. If you guys are fearful at all, let me tell you one thing. Do not be fearful at all. I'm going to give you a perspective today that is going to just make you so relaxed. Okay, you're going to feel like I gave you drugs, but it's not any kind of drugs. Okay, so get close to the screen. Because this is very, very important and share this video to everybody you know because you need to understand this market perspective. But first, let me give you a little bit of a goodie. Jupiter, Axelar, Internet Computer, ICP, these are absolutely steals right now. For the individuals that you know are not happy with paywalls, those paywalls are very risky with high reward. And the ones that are you know getting involved know what they're you know getting themselves into so that's why there's a paywall but if we're talking about opening up new positions on a plus plus coins icp axelar jupiter these are positions that are going to reward you very very handsomely if you're looking to diversify your assets i want to repeat this again because we're you know these prices are going to be a joke with the months ahead of us Okay, Axelar, 56 cents, Jupiter, 78 cents, ICP, $6.79 for the record, dirt cheap. And this is going to be, people are going to wish they had bought in at these prices. Do not be fearful whatsoever. Check this out. This is a week, weekly chart. So every candle here is a week in the crypto ecosystem. And if you take a look at this run-up that took place back in 2021, it took us approximately 175 days to go from $303 billion in market cap to $2.6 trillion in market cap. So about four months, nonstop. Obviously, you had the intradays, up and downs, but for... 175 days, 25 weekly candles, it was we were in the green. And we are about to see this again play out because we have adoption right around the corner. I don't care what you say, you could spread any kind of, like you want to spread FUD, go for it. But if you guys are holding back, you know, thinking there's going to be another dip, there might be, but that's another gamble, you know, that you're taking. Always think about it that way. You never know when this market's going to turn around, right? So that's why people buy at different levels as we are going down. You never know. But we may see some downside, and I'll show you in a moment, uh, where we could see things pick up. Because this year, we are going to finish off very, very bullish. If we take a look at where we are headed, take a look at this. So a weekly candle, 5 Point seven trillion dollars give or take by July of next year and that is on a very very conservative scale very very conservative scale right here we may have just potentially bottomed okay I don't see us going crazy low it could be a crazy wick low if the wick happens let it be because that wick is going to get filled up so fast it's going to bounce right back so if we're talking about a one hour candle wick all the way down to fifty, forty-five thousand dollars, let it be. It's gonna come right back up. But we are headed towards a very, very bullish couple of months ahead of us. And if you look at the altcoin market, oh my goodness, just look at this. 
we haven't, the highest we've been at was 488 billion. We haven't even hit a trillion dollars. And I'm telling you, a trillion dollars is going to be hit within the next six months. This rapid growth is going to be huge. And why is this so significant? Just looking back at to this, okay? This is back in 2017, October, give her the times, me getting involved into crypto. And to look at this and just, I'm, this is my first time kind of looking at it, how far, you know, anybody that has been in the community for, you know, they've been here since here, damn, we came through a long way and we've been in here for a very, very long time. And this is why I say we are pioneers and this is, go we're going through an educational phase that is going to be taught, you know, across the world. And now we're going to see the sudden rise up. And so this looks like a little blimp, right? You know what? Why don't we, it's probably better if we go to the whole market, the crypto market and look at it. This is the weekly. Look at that. This looks so small. And this was such a crazy run up. Do you guys remember that 2017 to 2018? Let me know in the comments down below. This was insanity. The altcoins that was, oh man. That was beautiful if you guys remember those days. I, I still remember them just like it was yesterday. So just like how this looks small, let's zoom out, okay? Just understand this right here, we're going to look back at this. I, I kid you not, screenshot this, screen record it, save it, whatever you want to do. But this is going to be a significant let me draw you guys a little bit of artwork here. Okay, so right here, and then just slowly, right, look at that. I kid you not, it will happen fast. And when it does happen, a lot of people are gonna miss out. And you guys wanna see, you know, how it would look like if we go to 50 trillion. Yes, this is how technology innovation happens, okay? These numbers you guys need to see, the charts you need to see. Because we're going to look back at this and we're going to say, wow, that was so small. That's what she said. And that was, you know, this was, these, we're going to just remember, look where we are. And this is 2017. Wow. That is just beautiful, right? That is just beautiful just to look at. 2017 OG, OG pioneers. Actually, yeah, OG pioneers, and these are just OG, OG mega pioneers. Okay, like 2015, 16, early 16. And look at that. Remember they said 50 trillion tokenized assets? Like, look at this. This is just pure insanity. And now let's take a look at how Ripple and XRP are silently right now probably going through all the stages of being a part of this. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, Project Agora. We covered this previously, but I'm bringing this to your attention because the June 2024 report came out and Mr. Augustine was on a panel today talking about laying a robust macro financial foundation for the future. And if we go into this report that he shows, Look at what they point out here because they talk about payments, laying down a macro foundation. In the development of a new payment infrastructure like Agora, great care must be taken to ensure potential gains are not lost due to fragmentation. This can be done via access policies to the infrastructure or via interoperability as it advocated in the idea of the Finternet. And remember, we talked about the Finternet and it will just change everything. This refers to multiple interconnected financial ecosystems, much like the internet, designed to empower individuals and businesses by placing them at the center of the financial lives. The Finternet leverages innovative technologies such as tokenization and unified ledgers underpinned by a robust economic and regulatory framework to expand the range and quality of savings and financial services starting with assets that can be easily tokenized 
holds the greatest promise in the near term. And Project Agora, they need help from the private sector, aka Ripple. And why do I say Ripple? Because Ripple meets all the criteria here, and Ripple is already working with the BIS Innovation Hub. If they're going to be a part of this. Wait until they fully announce this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But this is just, it's right in front of your face. So they're saying that Project Agora is going to be a public-private collaboration. It, this has really got to be built, if it's going to be built on time and built, it's got to be built with private sector involvement. And some of the individuals here from the public sector include Bank de France, Bank of Japan, Bank of Korea, Bank of Mexico, Bank of England, Federal Reserve Board of New York. Those are very, very important because Ripple is all in those jurisdictions. Okay, Ripple is, and what makes this even more bullish, they pretty much lay down the foundation. These individuals that can participate in this must be regulated financial institutions. Hint, hint, wow. Remember what we made about the video two days ago? Three days ago, because we missed yesterday. Talked about how Ripple is going to be a financial institution. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we have Project Agora saying applicants must be financial institutions, including, listen to this, this is very important, listen to the wording, right? Applicants must be financial institutions, including but not limited to commercial banks, deposit-taking institutions, and FMIs financial market infrastructures and who falls under that ripple could also be falling under deposit taking institutions and also fmis or critical service providers in the payment ecosystem international payment network institutions in both categories and must be subject to appropriate and effective regulation regulatory oversight mechanisms and or supervision in the jurisdictions of at least one of the participating central banks. That is huge. And they're saying that you must have account with those central banks. Applying financial institutions that are commercial banks, deposit taking institutions or FMIs, financial market infrastructures, must have an account relationship with one of the participating central bank. One of the participating central bank. And here we have Ripple having not just one, but a handful of those central banks that are participating because we have Ripple with Bank of England. We have Ripple with Bank of Japan, Korea. You see where, you see where I'm going with this? I mean, you can't really make this stuff up. It, it just We just keep adding more evidence to this and it, the more we add, the more we look at it from different angles, the more accurate we are. I want to talk about this, this is very important. Tether. I don't know how people don't see this, but remember what Terra Luna did? Luna Foundation was buying Bitcoin to reinforce their stablecoin reserves. And you know what happened with Luna? It went to zero. The stablecoin failed, everything failed. Normally, when you have companies that are running the same scheme, they tend to do the same thing because it's the only option. Just like how Tether is buying Bitcoin and portions of that is going back to USD for the stablecoin. And they accumulated over 75,000 Bitcoin valued over $5 billion. So it's twice as much as what Terra Luna was doing. So you know how big this is going to be. Um, but again, I don't know when this is going to bust, but when it busts, it's going to be, it's going to be a messy one. Never, never forget. And if anybody argues with you on this one, just let it be because time will settle any kind of arguments back and forth that you're going to have. XRP will be taken over Bitcoin 100% for the number one spot. I want to make that very, very clear. I'm not going to put a time frame on it. But, but I could tell you right now, it's not going to take 15 years, but it will happen. There is realistically no point of me putting a time frame. Um, I'm open to bets. Uh, and if you are 100% that XRP 
isn't going to take over Bitcoin, then I, I believe that the individual that wants to bet or whatever they want to do, there is no point. I mean, if you think it's never going to happen, then a time frame doesn't matter, right? So that's why I made that tweet, making a statement, and nobody, nobody has even reached out. Why not? Because they know, they know deep down, they know deep down that it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen 100%, whether they like it or not. But do not be fearful about what is happening right now in the markets. I showed you the bigger picture. And like this, you're not creating another crypto ecosystem that the money's going to flow into. Don't be fearful. That's all I got to say. Do not sit here waiting for a drastic drop thinking you're going to get, you know, a great price. You might, but you're gambling again. Life is a gamble. Whatever you do in life is pretty much a gamble. You step out that door, you know, you're gambling. You don't get hit by a car or you don't get into a car accident or you, you, something doesn't happen to you, right? Every day is a gamble. You could go to sleep and not wake up breathing. You, it, whatever we do in life, there's always a risk to reward ratio, okay? And that is what's happening here. I'm telling you, you don't want to be the individual over here, you know, waiting for a big dip and then you miss it and it goes all the way up. And then you look back years from now, you look at this whole ecosystem when we're at, you know, 10, 8, 12 tr trillion. And you look at this, you're like, wow, I was a little bitch and I was scared to buy at those levels. And that's what I mean by people are going to get priced out. Pardon my language, but it's true. It's going to happen. This market is not going to just go to 10 trillion and it just stopped. No, this, we are, we are at ground zero. You, my friend, are at ground zero, just like myself and our fellow community members. So it's either you ride the wave up, you store your assets safely, you stay alive so you could enjoy the wealth. And yes, it's, it's, it's reality. It's, it, all you got to do is just hold and buy and shut up. That's all it is. And we will be rewarded very, very handsomely. And I believe we have one of the most mature audiences in the entire community, in, in the crypto ecosystem. I kid you not. We have such a crazy community. It is insane. The education level is insane. And then, and then you have a little pigeon, and then you have a couple pigeon heads that, you know, fly in, you know, because they're pigeons. They just land they click on a video they watch a little bit they have no idea what kind of content you provide they hear one thing and then their little pigeon brains behind their because they're warriors behind their keyboards they you know put some stuff in and then they got a 500 hundred dollar xrp bag and a thousand dollars in something else this is it it's going to go up clip it save the video because once institutions once regulation is fully clear there is no going back. This thing is going to take off. Started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.